Hey guys, it's me, QP83, and I just wanted to show off um, two of the dolls of my collection that you haven't really seen in detail here on the channel. So these are two Man Alexander made quintuplets. So back in 1935 and through 1939, Madame Alexander made quintuplet sets based on the first set of quintuplets born in Canada. And the actual story of the quintuplets, the actual children, is super sad and super depressing, but it's also kind of interesting, so if you've never heard of it, you should definitely go and Google the quintuplets uh, story. So there were five of them, obviously. Five children were born to this couple in Canada. It was the first time it ever happened. The government essentially took control of the children and put them in a complex and built like viewing windows so people, much like animals in a zoo, people could walk around and like see these children growing up. It's a very strange story, but definitely check it out. One of the brighter spots, I think, that came out of that story is the are the Madame Alexander dolls that were created in the likeness or you know you know with the idea that they were based on these children. So I got both of these quints at different times. They're both from different sets. There are sets that were released with hair, without hair, with bent legs, with straight legs, toddlers, um, older versions of them. They were all in different sizes. My goal is to get at least like one quint of each size eventually. These quints both came to me one came to me with her original outfit, but the original outfit wasn't in great shape. And one came to me naked. They have all gone in for a little bit of repair and or restringing. This girl actually had her original outfit, but it was very faded. So when it came time to, you know, consider giving new outfits to these girls, I wanted to kind of keep it like the style that she wore. So I enlisted the help of Lolly. Lolly runs Lal's Doll Trunk on Etsy. She makes clothing mostly for like Shirley Temples, which is what she is on her Etsy site, but she can also make clothing for quints and other dolls. So this is a reproduction outfit that's very similar to what this doll actually wore. Um, I had to guess on the color, and because I don't know exactly what like character or what person this was supposed to be, I just chose green because you don't see a lot of green dresses <laughs> on your dolls, so I thought this was a cute little color. This is one of the dolls that has hair. These are her original shoes and socks, but Lolly put together this cute little bonnet, and this cute little dress for her. Looks adorable. These are composition, by the way, made sometime between 1935 and 1939. So whatever year you're watching this video, just imagine, that was like so long ago. Think of all the things that these dolls have been around to see. It's kind of amazing. This is the second one I got. Now this doll actually belonged to, I think I'm like the second owner of this one. So she belonged to a, col a person who received it from her father. And the, the person I bought it from is elderly and she was moving into a home and kind of downsizing her collection and poor lady was going through memory issues so she kept forgetting that she had her friend put it on ebay and the story was just like clearly this doll was loved and so i bought into the story so when she came she needed a lot of restoration so i sent her off to dr noreen who redid her face and kind of helped with some composition issues because like her foot was falling apart and her hands had some issues and her hips were a little weird so she went through uh, a lot of restoration um, by the awesome hands of Dr. Noreen, who did a wonderful, wonderful job. And then Lolly put together this cute little outfit for her. I wanted to kind of differentiate the two, like, series. I wanted them to look different. Like, I didn't want the same dress on everyone. So, this is themed off of another outfit that the Quince would have been released in back in the 30s. She made this cute little bonnet. And then there's this cute little onesie here. I think it's perfect for this doll because this doll has a bent leg so she can never stand because her legs just aren't made that way. So I thought this little romper was a cute little idea for her. I still do. It looks so cute. So that's a little bit about these. I just, I really wanted to show them off to you and um, give kudos to both Dr. Noreen and Lal. You can check out Lal on Etsy. I'll link to her store down below. I'll link to Dr. Noreen as well in case you're looking for restoration on these. Uh, check out the Quint story because the Quint story is just, as I said, it's one of those most bizarre stories. Uh, and 
there's a lot of bad, bad things that happen to these people. But I am happy that Madame Alexander made such quality dolls out of them because the dolls themselves are so cute. So let me know what you think of these in the comment area. Let me know um, if you've ever had anything done by Lal or Dr. Doreen or what you think just in general of these dolls. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye!